tell me that they're making a movie about the eight ball? But yeah. And they already advertising it. And you say all of the all of those units were black. The red ball express. Let me tell you like this. The uh. In fact, I'm trying to think of her name. Anyway, the United States was divided up according to armies. The second army, the cat that was ahead of the second army, was in charge of all of the military companies on the West Coast. That was Patton. The cat that was ahead of all of the military that was in in North New York, Virginia, Carolinas, and whatnot was Regan, uh, 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 Colonel Regan. Uh, so they had the had the military was divided up. But each section had a head. Being that I was in o in Oakland Army Base. I was part of the Second Army. Okay? Under Patton? Huh? Under Patton? Yeah, yeah, I was under Patton. Hmm. I was, uh, uh, and Patton liked his brothers because his brothers, his army was taking care of business. And the Red Ball was part of the cat that was the equivalent of Patton in New York. Okay? And he was sending. Black troops over there, too. But these two generals, uh, one was a colonel and one was a general, these two white generals preferred black soldiers because black soldiers would get the thing done. They wouldn't let them fly no airplane, but when them white boys found out that them niggas could fly an airplane and they would ride, you put 20, 30 white boys on a bomber, and fly over Germany, over Germany, and then they got the parachute out and take a chance on getting captured and all that because they were, them Nazis was fighting motherfuckers too. Uh, uh, when you want to be escorted to a bombing mission, them white boys would, they insist <laughs> that them motherfuckers let the, uh, what was that, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh God damn it. I got it on the tip of my tongue. Uh, the uh, it was they were that company that he wanted was all black, okay, but they was part of the not the Tuskegee, huh? Not the Tuskegee Airmen. Not the what? Tuskegee Airmen. No, the Tuskegee Airmen was under somebody else. Uh -huh. Another army. You understand? Know you see, airborne. You know what I'm saying? That's what they was part of. So, it being a part of the airborne, they would allow them to clean planes. Mm -hmm. You know, do uh, uh, maintenance work on the airplane, but they couldn't fly. But what happened was, white boys were getting shot out of the air so over Hitler, over, over Germany, and over Japan. They needed somebody that could fly, and they let uh, and this 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 uh, uh, colonel in New York say, "Give me a black company, okay?" Patton over there in, there in California say, "I want the 839th and the 854th." All, both, both companies were black on the West Coast, mm -hmm. and they was wondering who to send where. These two dudes wanted black dudes in the Pacific, which was the PTO, and, and in the ETO and European theater overseas. And they, them white boys that was, was fly, flying them bombers and stuff, big ass bombers and stuff, and, and dropping supplies and stuff, they didn't have the gunnery to fight uh, uh, the Japanese suicide 
motherfucker. Them motherfucking, God damn it, <laughs> when you shoot one of them and it starts smoking going down, mm -hmm. them motherfuckers didn't go down in the ocean. They turned their airplane toward the boat that shot them down. And it would be an American boat. And they go out crashing into the motherfuckers that shot them down. That's how the Japanese was. Mm -hmm. And Hitler had the biggest motherfucking military base in the world. And he was building a uh, 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 stuff to fight the war that we didn't have. We over here was was uh, telling you on your job and telling the civilians up and down the street with signs that said, Uncle Sam wants you. That's what the sign said. Uncle Sam wants you. And they want you to go out and pick up empty cans, empty anything that was metal, and sell it to, at a certain place so that they would have the stuff to make the, 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 make the planes and all the other stuff. Uh, 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 gas was, according to the alphabet number that your car was under, if you was, uh, like Joe Griffin's car was uh, B. So on a certain day, you could go to the, to the gas station and you could fill up if you was a B. Uh, on another day, C may have to go to another station, B came. You understand? So everything was, was geared toward the people participating in helping them motherfuckers fight the war. And they were taking people like Gregory Peck <laughs> and uh, them motherfuckers uh, was, uh, Gregory Peck was one of them motherfuckers. All his movies was about defending a slave. You understand know that the white folks done accused and he had a family and his wife and kids was saying, why you got to do it? Oh, yeah. to kill a mockingbird. Yeah, yeah, that kind of movie. You know, every time you seen a movie, if, if it was a brother in it, and he was the he was the funeral director <laughs> in the community, black community, when they want to talk to somebody, they would call him, and he would go there and say yes, sir, boss, and listen to what they want, and then he'd go back to the community, and he was like them motherfuckers that was in the city, some of them. Niggas that every time brothers got mad and, and wanted to do something, uh, uh, they called these niggas out. Jesse Jackson was one of them till he changed. And uh, it was a whole lot more of them. And they would come out and, and, uh, get, and get on the platform to talk to us about don't, don't get violent. Violence never solve anything. Bullshit. Violence themselves a lot as long as they was doing it. 